Today we're in a period of transition, and because of that transition, and the fact that the world doesn't look the same, that means we need to design a brand new educational system to deal with it. Where do we start? Systemic change begins with values. The first conversation that we need to have is a conversation that begins everybody on the road to changing their mindset. So what values do we hold true? I'll guarantee that the first thing that people say will not be, we need to spend $10 trillion on school buildings. That's not where education is today. Where we are today is looking at the use of technology to embed learning in everything that we do. So the value that we come up with is going to have that embedded into it. As we discuss the basis of our values and as we move forward with those values, we will then embed into our vision for education those things that we hold true and important. What is important? customization of services. That's important. When, we, when a child enters the kindergarten and the K-16 system, they enter as a unique individual. Each one comes with different learning needs. Each comes as a custom package requiring certain inputs, certain experiences to form their life values. And so we move that child forward as an individual. The second thing that we would do is not divide students into classrooms of 30 or 40 or 50 or 10. The second thing that we do is make sure of where that child is. I've developed a test and that test tests the writing the abilities of kindergartners in entering school. Some write in tornadoes and some write in fully formed letters and each is appropriate in its own fashion. But as soon as that child learns to form the alphabet, then we move them from the process of encoding into the process of decoding. And if that child is ready to move into the process of reading the ideas that are written in a grade level three book, then by the time they're at the end of the kindergarten year, they should be reading at a grade level three level. So as students move forward, we need to, grade, we need to learn to evaluate their skills on an achievement-based format rather than a time-based format. 